Hi guys, it's me Tanya with a quick crafting haul. I went to um, Hobby Lobby and to an antique store here in California and I wanted to show you what I got. Super excited. Now keep in mind I had to be able to pick, put everything in my backpack when I travel home <laughs> or if uh, things go crazy I guess I can ship it. But I wanted to show you what I got. Got some fun things I'm super excited about. I got this crazy awesome eyelash trim yarn that is so freaking soft. This is from uh, Hobby Lobby. Of course, it's on sale for $174 on clearance. When I get home, if there is more of this at my Hobby Lobby, I'm going to get some. I saw somebody else haul it, and it is amazingly soft. Isn't that gorgeous? Those colors are fantastic, and it's really, really soft. I'm going to probably use this for dangles and such, maybe even on some um, fabric snippets. I think this will be fun um, addition. I also got it in purple also extremely soft. Doesn't this may remind you like of a Sesame Street character? The fluffiness. I love it. This would be awesome. And of course it's $1.74 as well. I also got a green one. My favorite color in the whole wide world. Look at that beautiful mossy green. Also $1.74. And then I got a white one I think. Yes, the white one isn't as soft. But look how pretty this is. It's going to be great for Christmas stuff. It's got kind of a sheen to it. I love it. It's not quite as soft, but it's really, really nice. Um, also on sale for $1.74. They had Christmas colors, but um, those were the ones that weren't on sale. So I got the sale ones. I got a bunch of uh, clearance stuff. I got this beautiful charm for $2.24. A little more than I was thinking I'd pay for it, but you know what? It's different. I really like it. So um, I think it'll be all right. And I got these little keys. These were 75 cents for the pack. There's 40 pieces in there. These are plastic. I think they'll be, I think they'll be really cute for snippet rolls and for, uh, for charms for uh, dangles and such. I got two of these, a like a pink one or peach and a uh, off-white. These were 50% off. All the Paper Studio stuff was 50% off. And I got a, some beautiful butterfly charms. I think I got a few of these. These were $1.99, regular eight bucks. Pretty good. These weren't charms, I'm sorry. These are pins. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll use them yet, but I love me some butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? I got a couple of those. Um, let's see, I got some of these little guys. These are 99 cents. I like this, it's layered, and it's this metallic with the, um, different color and the rhinestone in the middle. These are charms. These are going to be so pretty. 99 cents. I think I got a, like three of those. These were 74 cents little spacer beads. Great again for dangles. Here's some more of those butterflies and my M&M &M wrapper. Don't tell my doctor. Uh, <laughs> I got these beautiful uh, beads. These are $1.74 for a string of them. I really like these, especially with the butterflies. They're going to, um, together. Let's see what else. What else? What else? I got some more. Oh, these are the um, the bead caps. Sorry for the non-focus. These are 99 cents. There's 40 pieces in there. And another charm. This one is the blue color. I really like that one. I got some beads that are similar colors. So that'll be nice for dangles there too. Um, these were 74 cents. Those would be great. These are plastic. There's how many are in here? It doesn't say. 10 millimeter plastic. I think it's by weight. But there's quite a few in there. Those are pretty. And let's see. Got some of these. These are, I think I got two of these. These are $1.24. I really like it. These are um, like epoxy with little stones on the side. The different colors. You guys, if you hear that noise like a fan, I'm sitting in the car. It's so hot here today. I'm sitting in the car um, in between my my engagements <laughs> doing this because I wanted to show you all some more spacer beads. Really fun. Another one of these dang these charms. This one seems to be more purple to me. And I got these. I thought these would be, I know these were probably for earrings or what have you. I think these are going to make really cute dangles on a really fancy, really fancy thing. So these are $1.74. Really, really pretty. I would have got more of these if they'd had them. I think that was the last one. 
and some more spacer beads for 99 cents. I got these. These are little wooden pieces and they're painted and rustic. I thought these would be cute for like a beach theme um, dangle, like a beach colors and stuff. These were 74 cents. And then I got two of these guys. I already have one of these, but for the price, I got two more. These were clearance as well. I already have one at home. These are the Christmas papers. They were um, $3.49 for pad. Uh, I can't open it because it tape show. And all the just cute little, get that closer, cute little papers in there. I think those will be a lot of fun to work with. I have my uh, Christmas uh, die cuts coming soon. They sh actually should be at home. I'm going to have a huge haul for you guys when I get home because there's there are packages. I keep checking my mail, um, checking on, online for my mail deliveries, and there are so many things like from AliExpress that have shown up at the house <laughs> and a couple of things from uh, Amazon that I've ordered as well. So those will be at the house when I get back. I have a few more things to show you guys from the antique shop. That was it for Hobby Lobby. Um, let's throw this stuff in here. I'm in the rental car, so I don't want to lose anything in here. There's another butterfly. Let that receipt in there. So that's that one. And okay, so I wanted to go to the antique shop. They've got, there's a lot of history in this area. And oh shoot, I left the bag back there. Um, a lot of history. And I've been looking for black and white photos to make projects and to scan them and, and use them as digitals. And um, I found some, you guys. I've got like a, a new family practically. <laughs> So I found some vintage uh, clothespins. I thought these are going to be fun for fabric snippets. And these are, I'm pretty sure these are probably, I don't know if they're really vintage or not, but I know they're not new. So that's pretty cool. So I got those. I got some handkerchiefs. These are kind of hard to come by because nicer ones are going to be more expensive. And I want to cut them up, so I don't want to pay a lot for them. So I found these for $1.50 each. And I'm going to use them for my fabric snippet rolls. I really like them though. They're really cute. And then I got this little guy. Isn't that pretty? And then I got... Um, I got a pack of cards. I'm going to use these for um, altering. Nothing exciting there. I guess I could have bought a bad, brand new pack, but probably not any cheaper some really really fun photos look at those little boys aren't they cute of course there's some stories on on the back of some of these and, and but not most of them I don't know who they are I love this one I just love the, um, the, the look of them I found this little cute little card little elephant that'll be, make some fun ephemera maybe I'll scan it and use it as a, a digital that was that bag. And then this one, this one was the major haul. This one is my, sorry about that. My, th this one was a lot of fun. I went through about four photo albums to find these. And they said, oh, you've got a new family now. I'm like, yeah, I, I do. I'm going to put these all in an album and claim them as my own. <laughs> They're so fun. Look at this beautiful picture of this baby. Doesn't she look like an angel? You just want to hug her. She's so cute. Assuming she's a she. I don't know. It's pink, so I kind of keep thinking she's a she. Super cute. Look at these amazing photos. Look at that. Look at her dress and his suit. Look how still they must have been sitting. This one, let's see if there's a date on it. These are real pictures, you guys. Art Gallery, 96 Blue Island Avenue, Chicago. There's no date on it. Isn't that great though. This is a really thick card. I'm not going to be cutting these up or anything. So um, this one was in a frame and the, the guy at the antique store, he goes, this is my favorite picture. I'm like, yeah, you got me. I love it too, but I don't want the frame because it has to fit in my backpack to go back to Alabama. So he put another picture in there and gave me this one. I absolutely adore that picture. Look how amazing that is. It does have a crease in the middle. That just adds to the charm. This one, let's see, no date on this one either. Love that. Look at this little one. Most of the ones I picked, I think, were babies. They were just so cute. Um, 1928. That's sweet. 1928. 
this one. Oh. These remind me a lot of the um, Tim Holtz pictures too. Is there a date on this one? No date on this one. This was an actual postcard. Beautiful baby. This little boy. And his cat. <laughs> I didn't notice the cat before. <laughs> this is an actual photo of Yosemite. And let's see if there's a date on this one. No date on this one either, but this is an actual photo of Yosemite. Isn't that cool? Really old picture. This one was also with that one. And I'm assuming that's one of the uh, General Grant trees. Pretty cool. My dad and his kid. Looks like this one has a date. No date on this one. Look how old that tricycle is. This looked like a lot of fun. 1934. And they were swimming in one of the swimming holes out here. Assuming it was out here. I don't know. I don't know if these were taken in the state. Now this one was um, one of the, the trees up here in the National Forest. I believe this one is gone though. I think this one burned down. And you were able to drive through the tree. So I know we went through it as kids when we were little. So that's a really neat picture to have. That's history right there. That tree's no longer there. And then this one. Look at her beautiful dress. Pristine. This one's a postcard. Let's see. Is there a date? No date. From Miss Drum to Mary Ball. Really cool. This one looks like it might have a date. April 1947. It has a name on the back, too. Look how beautiful she is. And that old card. That's so neat. Because I had so much fun picking these out. Look at their shoes. This was, let's see if there's a date on this one. Nope, no date on that one. Family. I think I have a picture similar to this one of my dad on a little bicycle. This might be the same boy as that in that other picture. Baby in the buggy love that. This one has no date on it either, but it was in somebody's photo album. I was so happy that they preserved this. This would make the most beautiful Christmas card, wouldn't it? I can just see it framed with red and gold and all the beautiful Christmas colors. I think it's adorable. I love that one. This is a postcard and no date. Farmer and his horse. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I did. <laughs> I love these photos. I absolutely adore them. I'm so excited about them. I hope to keep getting more. Now I want to go back to Alabama and see if I can find some there. I wonder how different they are. This little boy, I think he's just full of it. Look how much energy he looks like he has. I love this photo. That one doesn't have a date either. Look how fancy he is. this little one. Look how sweet. I could see me like that in my grandma's garden when I was little. She's got pictures of us kids like that. And these two. This one's a postcard. Look how cute they are holding hands. And their shoes. Look at their shoes. And this little one. It says we're awfully proud of this. Do you blame us. <laughs> I'd be pretty cr proud of that little one too. And there's some writing on this. 1918 it says. 1918. That's awesome. I'm going to have to read that. I don't didn't get to do all that when I was there at the store. This one's actually cracked a little bit. But look at that. Look at their shoes and their outfits. It's pretty incredible. And this beautiful little girl. I like this one too. This is kind of a, this one reminds me of a picture of my dad and his brothers. I have uh, them sitting on a car or something too. This is sweet. This one is fun. These 
is great. This must be the same family. Look, it's the same horse. It's the same horse in there. Which makes sense because they said that they got these pictures from an estate sale. So it's probably the same family. And look at this little man. Look at that smile on his face. No date on that one either. Look at this one. Makes you wonder what those fellows are talking about. <laughs> oh, and these. Oh, these are fun too. I love the color that they added to these. Isn't that amazing? I love it. These are probably some of the first colored. Oh, well, I'm sure they're not taken in color. They're probably colored after the fact. But I got a second one. I think it's the same boys. But I think. You know, different years. I think this one's when they're a little older. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Ugh. So my new little family. <laughs> one day my kids are probably gonna pick up these pictures. Who in the world are all these people? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that's my haul for today, you guys. How'd I do? Aren't they amazing? Aren't they cool? I wanna um I'm hoping to put these, uh, to scan these into my computer and have them in my, uh, possibly my Etsy shop is downloaded, loud, downloadable uh, digitals. Um, so wish me luck on that. I don't know how it'll work, but I'm going to try. And I was thinking if Tom, Tim Holtz can do it, so can I, right? Um, but I'm just, I'm just falling for these. I love these, love these, love these. So let me know what you think and which pictures are your favorite. I think altogether this one is my absolute favorite. I can just see a Christmas card out of that. And it just makes me happy. So also wanted to uh, touch base with you guys and just clarify a little bit about my uh, my 100, 100 Sebi challenge. So that's, with this challenge, if you didn't see the other video, make sure you check that out. I'll, I'll try to add the, uh, the link to that video in here. But I wanted to let you know, if I realized I, I forgot to put the deadline on it. It's going to be August 9th. August 9th is my birthday, so it's a great cutoff date, and that gives everybody plenty of time. It is open internationally. You must be 18 and a, a viewable subscriber to my channel. Uh, you have three chances to be entered into the drawing. At the end, you can do a VR for me. Just shout me out on your channel, add my link and all that, and you get one entry send me an ATC card and you get another entry and you can send me an embellishment box for a third uh, entry. So you can get th up to three entries um, and that's, you know, you, that's three chances. So you can do all three, you can do one, you can do another. It's totally up to you. I want to leave this open. I do, it's just a way to thank you guys for subscribing and being a part of my channel and um, being so supportive. So uh, in the embellishment box, you can decorate it however you want to. You can add whatever you like. I am hoping to get to be receiving some like small pieces of, of uh, fabric scrap, buttons, beads, and charms. But you can put anything in there. I love ephemera, whatever you want. I'm just starting my journey on this too, so I don't have a ton of stuff. But with the scraps of fabric, the beads, and the lace, um, I want to make a banner to decorate my my uh, craft room and with that you can do fabric scraps where you put the, scra the square of scraps together and sew a little bead on top or a button or something like that. I want to use those things to make something that makes me think of you guys and inspires me every day like you do. So um, if you feel uh, if you feel like you want to be participant in that, I love that. Um, just make it something something that, that's about you. I don't want you to go buy a bunch of stuff that, that's not like you. Just just representative of yourself so whether that's butterflies or bees or you know lettuce 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 why did I say lettuce <laughs> where'd that word come from anyway I just wanted to um thank you guys again uh the prizes I've, I've talked about in the other video it's gonna be a 50 dollars gift card again it is open internationally and I'll have some crafty supplies for those crafters um, when you win, I'll check, I'll reach out and make sure that you are a crafter. If not a crafter, I'll be making something for you and adding some things that might be a little bit more precise to you and your likes. So I want to make sure everybody has a chance to, um, to play and, and just, you know, be thanked for, for being a, a part of my journey. 
and I don't want to send a bunch of craft items to people who aren't going to want them. Um, so I'd rather make something for those of you. So you have that option if you win. And um, yeah, so you've got three chances, three opportunities. The deadline is the 9th of August. That gives everybody time to play. So thank you once again for being a part of my day, for watching my video. And share, 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 like, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.